This tutorial will show you how to use AllSport Systems Wi-Fi video grabber software, a wireless video transfer program, along with an iPad to wirelessly capture and deliver video into your, your PC for analysis with Motion View video analysis software. So we have on the screen right now just the Wi-Fi video grabber and an iPad. The app you'll want inside the iPad is right here. It's called File App. F-I-L-E-A-P-P. -P. It's a free download from the App Store uh, which you'll want to get and have it installed. Now on the main screen for File App you'll see the following information. Uh, one of the things you will have to do is to purchase an add-on that they require in order for you to use your camera with the file app program. It's a 99 cent add-on so just click on the add-ons item and then it's the last one camera and microphone. Uh, you can see we've already purchased it for our iPad. You will need to have that installed otherwise it will not give you the option of recording video. So make sure you have the camera and microphone add-on as well. Alright now on the main screen of file app uh, you'll you'll just want to click where it says file sharing. That's where we're going to configure the um, settings for file app and put them into our Wi-Fi video grabber software over on our PC. So you'll notice there's a username here and a password. Well those need to be supplied to the Wi-Fi video grabber exactly as they appear here on the file app. You can change those of course if you want or just use the default settings. At the bottom of the screen you'll see the IP address of your iPad on the Wi-Fi network as well as the port that the file app program is using, port 2121. Make sure that those two values are entered here in the Wi-Fi video grabber software exactly the same. Now the last thing you need to do once you've made sure you've got the settings all right is to turn on the file sharing which is done with this button at the top right. So just slide that to the right so as to enable file sharing. Okay. Now once you've done that you can simply connect by pressing the connect button over on your PC. The Wi-Fi video grabber will look for your iPad using the credentials you've provided here and when you see it say sleeping that tells you that it is connected and it is monitoring your iPad for new video files. So we can just let that sit there and do its thing now. There's no more interaction with the Wi-Fi video grabber at all. Now over on the iPad, let's hit the done button at the top right. And now we're going to click where it says files. This is an area where you can add files from your iPad into the file app to be shared or we can add new files with the plus button at the top here. So we're going to press the plus button and then we're going to choose take photo slash video. Again if you don't see this icon just make sure you've purchased the add-on that they require, 99 cents. So I'll go ahead and push that button now. This brings up my camera previewer. I'll switch it to video mode and just record a short clip. Having recorded that clip, File App now gives me the option of viewing it, starting over and taking another one in its place, or using the video just as it was recorded. We'll say we're going to use the video and we're now presented with an opportunity to select a name for the file. You can choose to accept the name as it is, as you can see it's the date and time, or you can change the name to anything you like. And we'll just say save using the name it provides. And you'll notice that almost immediately the file app or, or the Wi-Fi video grabber software notices the new file in our iPad and has pulled it over onto our PC. Well, how can we make use of it? Well, let's bring up our motion view software where we're monitoring the Wi-Fi folder inside motion view. We'll just simply refresh our thumb list, our thumbnails, and there's the video that we just took. We'll drag it right on up here. We're ready to work with it. Okay, so this is really quite quite simple. That's all there is to it. Let's do another uh, clip now. Again, we're just going to interact with the 
iPad. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the top of the iPad to record a new clip. I'm going to choose to take a photo or a video. We'll make it a video file. And this time we'll keep the focus here on this section of my desktop. We'll end the recording. Tell File App to use it and save it using the default name. And there we have instantly that file has been transferred over to the PC now. If we refresh our thumbs, we'll have a new thumbnail and we're ready to work. So it's really just that simple. Uh, you can accomplish the same thing using an Android tablet or an Android cell phone if you use an app called SWIFTP. S like Sierra. WIFTP, SWI FTP. It's a free FTP server and it also allows you to transfer videos right out of an Android using the exact same uh, Wi-Fi video grabber software from all sports systems.